Hello again. Thought I might do another quick update. Uh, yesterday I took the decision to pack Wembleston away. I uh, didn't see much point in having the layout up in the garage taking up space uh, when I've got a new layout that I'm on with at the moment for home use and our next show is going to be about another five month away. That's if it goes ahead. Uh, so for the time being I've packed it away. Uh, I'll just have a quick look over here. Uh, garage is still upside down. Uh, down here, these are the main scenic boards, all created up with the covers on, and the rest of the baseboards are just uh, put up here out of the road. Anyway, big news is the engage layout has now migrated to the garage. As you can see, I've been doing a little bit of scenery yesterday, uh, just mucking around. This is nowhere near finished. I was just messing about with colours, uh, textures, and just some basic landscaping really so I could get an idea of what this thing's going to look like and it will also help me to gauge uh, with regards to how to proceed up the, the mountain so to speak uh, but anyway the thing I wanted to share with you today just quickly is I've decided to make a start on building the bridge uh, this uses a product uh, called Formex and when you've discovered Formex as a model maker you'll never go back to foam board because this stuff's awesome uh, it's rock hard, uh, it's fireproof, flame proof rather, and uh, you can mould it, shape it, sculpt it, as you can see. Uh, you can see I've scored in all of the detail, the brick detail for the bridge. And what I've also done is underneath, I remember to put the, the division down the middle because it's supposed to be two stuck together uh, as per the prototype, and I've done it on the top. Uh, the archway itself. I better be careful because it's held in with dressmaker's pins till I can get some glue tomorrow. Uh, but I've got one 5mm five piece, five piece of Formex here and a 3mm piece of Formex here. And when the two are sandwiched together, it should be quite strong. And uh, what I've also done, I don't know if the camera will pick up the little silver bits just there. Uh, these are these dressmaker's pins. And what I've done is I've just put the dressmaker's pins in, in the brickwork all the way around and cut the heads off and pushed them in so it's, it's actually pinned together. Uh, here's one of the little arches that I've just made. You can see it's quite rigid and basically this will go, that just goes in there like that you see. And when this is all glued up this will form part of the bridge. And when I put it into the layout this should just go in here. A bit of a tight fit. If I kind of push that into place, that kind of goes in there like that. And then we take this other piece and you push this through. Kind of push this through from the back. It's really hard to try and hold the camera and do this at the same time, but there you go. You get the gist. That will glue into there like that. And that gives you the the arch and then on the top of the bridge there's these walkways that kind of come out so they've been glued ready to sorry they've been cut ready to be glued on that's where the track will fit the track will go there and then there's obviously there's a piers to build out and there's another archway to go in uh, but I think it's going to look pretty awesome when it's finished and uh, this is what I'm copying off uh, just going back to this picture again as you can see this part of the bridge is much narrower than this part of the bridge so it's important to replicate that and you can see you can see the lines running up the middle uh, where the bridge was actually uh, rebuilt in two halves uh, in fact if I just uh, just bear with me one moment uh, there was a picture somewhere uh, if I can just quickly find it Do, 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 do. Just talk amongst yourselves while I quickly find the picture. And there we go. So that just goes to show how they rebuilt it. You can see the original steel bridge behind it, and this is the arch bridge in place. That's why when you look at the the real ones, there's actually a join where the two halves go together. Uh, so that's basically that. But uh, yeah, I think this is going to look pretty cool, uh, especially with a 87 going across it at the moment yeah, it's just yeah I think that's going to look spot on with the catenary right this is uh, 3 mil Formex uh, it's fairly rigid but you can actually bend it and twist it if you want to 
and what I've done is I've cut the little chamfer at the end now this bit here is going to form the other end of this bridge which goes in there now what I'm going to do is roughly uh, roughly the top of the arch is about where my thumb is so what I need to do is if I just move that I need uh, one of these heat guns so if I just gently warm that up with a heat gun Basically, you just do this. You can see it bends quite easily. So again, if I take my bridge and if I roughly, roughly bend it round the top like that, where I need it to go. see it's uh, retaining its shape so it just needs to needs to bend a bit more like that at the top uh, just bear with me I just heat another bit up so if I just bend that a bit more like that That should that should fit there. There you go. So that's how we do it. So basically, I'll bend that into shape, and then as it cools down, it'll retain its shape, and it goes rock hard. And hopefully, I should end up with something that looks a bit like this. Right, then moving on a little bit. Uh, what I've done is I've bent that one and there's the other one and you can see I've put some of these little dressmakers pins in there so I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to clip these off with a pair of cutters and then I think I'll just push them in flush with the brickwork like what I've done with the, the other bit there and then when everything's cut I think what we might do is just fill the voids in with a hot glue gun and see if that does the job uh, but yeah I'm quite pleased with how this is progressing at the moment Right, so we just clip these off. Save those bits. I'll turn that one round. and just gently push them down flush with the front of the Formex board like that will actually make the structure stronger because you're not just relying on the glue there's metal fastenings there you go I've pushed them all flush so uh, yep yeah, getting there well I've made all of the archways now and the other thing I've done is I've just got the hot glue gun out the back out around the back just put some hot glue in in the voids around the top of there this thing is rock hard so I don't think I'll have any problems with this so I'm just going to have a quick look now I think I might have a grey rattle can somewhere I'll just give it a quick blast over with some grey primer before I stick it into the layout and then the job that I've been putting off is to uh, cut out the back part which will go in there but I might do that tomorrow Well, apparently it's quarter to ten. My missus has just put her head through the door, so uh, better call it a night. But uh, got a fair way with this. Uh, if you can sort of just go and have another quick look, 
I've kind of cut the zoom in there. It's not a very good camera this one. I've made a start on cutting out some of the detail on the abutments. I couldn't find any grey primer, so I've had to give it a coat of white. It's not a big deal, it's getting painted, poster paints anyway. Uh, I've also cut out the the bits that hold the the uh, handrails on the side, and I made a start on that. Uh, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. If I kind of go back over to this, this is the bit I've just been working on here. So yeah, all in all, quite a productive uh, Sunday afternoon. I think this will look great when it's all painted up. Anyway, this is Dave signing off for now. Uh, until next time, take care. Cheerio.